in the year 2179, deep in space where no one can hear you. A station comes under attack by the menacing, ruthless, cold-hearted and logical race known as the Cybermen. People thought they had been wiped out many years ago, but they hadn't. They waited in the deep blackness of space, preying on anyone they'd come across, converting any humanoids and increasing their armies. After many years in hiding, they now attack a human alliance space station where the humans suffer a fate worse than death. to get back to civilization. I hate coming out this way. It is so boring. It pays well enough though, considering. I know that. It's just I'd rather be doing runs in well-known territories or even something with a view. Everything out this way in Cygnus Alpha is nothing but rock, gas planets, and a few, and I mean few, habitable worlds on the outer rim. Either way, Elsie. It's our job to deliver supplies and keep the frontier strong. Well, that's the Alliance's fault for overstretching their military forces. If you say so. And what if something happens out here? We only have the communication relay satellites. It would take months for any messages to get through. Well, good thing we're not a war then, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose that's true. I've heard that this system is supposed to be haunted. Cygnus Alpha, really? That is absolute nonsense, Rick. Come on, Elsie. There's been more reports out this way of cargo ships going missing than any other system. How can you explain that? Well, it's simple. They don't follow the navigation relay to get there. Either way, Rick, it's not haunted, I promise you. What is that? The scanners are picking up some kind of message pod. Where? Right in front of us. About ten minutes away from our current location. Shall I bring it in? Sure. Something to occupy our time. On course to the message pod's location now. Dear, let's open it and find out. Hey, could you just hand me the drill on the counter? The power drill? Yep, thank you. It's a computer module with display and audio. Let me see how long it's been out here. 23 days. The computer says it originates from an Alliance outpost station, Tamar 13. That's way out of the outer rim. Nothing more than a small outpost station. 
Is there anything else? There is a priority visual recording in multiple files. Play it. It might tell us why it's out here. My name is Chris Andrews. I'm an engineer on board the fire station. Who the hell is that? Shrip, listen and we'll find out. We're sending out with all security footage and evidence. This station has come under attack by Cybermen. Yes, we need to go now! They're getting through the doors! Come on, let's get the hell out of here! Please, you've got to warn them. Tell Joanna Carter I love her. Chris, move yourself! What happened? Did it just cut off? No idea. Apparently that's the end of the priority message. What is he on about? Cybermen. What the hell are Cybermen? I'm as much in the dark as you are, Rick. Let's check out this other evidence here and it might tell us what they are. It has all the footage from the very beginning of the attack. We have to watch it. We need to know what went on out there. Right. It's starting. How's that report coming along, Lieutenant Commander? Almost done, Commander. Just finalizing it for Alliance Central. You know what they're like. Anything out of place and they'll ask hundreds of questions why. That's Colonial Communications for you. Could be worse, I guess. I mean, it could be an inspection. The reason why there are no inspections out here, Mr. Oakman, is because nothing is out here. No wars, no trading, no nothing. It's quiet as a graveyard. Boring, if you ask me. Be grateful. General announcement. Long-range scanners have identified an unknown vessel entering the system. Probably a cargo ship. Confirm it, Esther. The vessel's course is locked onto station. Esther? It's confirmed. It's a ship, all right. And it's heading straight toward us. Kian, get me a communication link with the ship. Link established, Commander. This is Alliance Outpost Station Tamar 13 to approaching vessel. Identify yourself. Nothing. I repeat, identify yourself immediately. The link is active, sir. They can hear us. Lieutenant Commander, can you give me a visual? Working on it. There she is. What the hell is that? I don't recognize the design. Sir, I'm picking up energy spikes. They're arming their weapons. Unknown vessel, you will identify yourself or you will be fired upon. That is my last warning. Sir, they want to open a visual link with us. Do it, ma'am. We don't want a confrontation unless it's necessary. I am Commander William Tyson of the Alliance Outpost Station Tamar 13. Identify yourself and stand down. We mean you no harm. We most certainly will not. You will identify yourself or you will... We are the Cybermen. We have come to take over this station. Any attempts at communication have now been jammed. You will belong to us. You shall be like us. You will surrender yourselves immediately. Resistance is useless. You will surrender. Break communications. Communications are cut, sir. Commander Tyson, I can't establish a link with any communication relay satellite. They're firing! Activate the force shields, activate the general intercom, and then go to red alert. You're on. This is Commander Tyson. We're coming, We're coming under, under attack, attack by, by alien, alien forces. forces. All, hands All hands to their, to their stations. stations. All, security All security teams, teams report, report to your stations. stations. We may be may boarded. Be boarded. All hands, hands, battle stations. Battle Commander, Commander Tyson, Tyson out. out. Warning. Protector Hull will come into contact with Stations Hull in one minute. Esther, fire the fusion cannons. Destroy the projectile. Firing. Uh, the projectile is evading our fire. Keep firing. You've got to hit it. Protector Hull will come into contact with Stations Hull in 30 seconds. Damn it. It's evading our fire still. Firing again. Impact in 10 seconds. 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four. Three, All hands brace for two, impact. One. Report. All breach on main generator. Our force shield has gone offline. I'm getting reports from multiple decks. The weapon systems have also gone offline. We're utterly defenseless. Seems that the projectile targeted only certain systems. Commander, the ship is coming into docking orbit with the station. All hands. We're going, We're going to be boarded, boarded by, by alien, alien forces. forces. All, security All security teams repel, repel invaders. invaders. I repeat, I repel, repel invaders. invaders. What's going on? Looks like we're being invaded. Hey, hey! What's going on? Alien forces are preparing to invade the station. You all need to find a safe place to hold up until the fight is over. What are you waiting for? Go! On! This is just crazy! Sounds like the ship is docked. Come on, let's get out of here! We need to find Sarah! Everyone in position? Yes, sir. We're the first line of defense. What the hell are they? All resistance will now surrender. You will drop your weapons immediately. What do we do, sir? Stop staring at the bloody things and open fire! The humans are resisting. We need more materials for anti-version chambers on board our ship. Kill if necessary. Open fire. Sir, our weapons aren't having any effect on the evading forces. We've lost four people already! Sir, we need to fall back to position two. That humanoids are falling back. All units will converge on Union Station. Lead all humans to lower levels. They all must be gathered for cyber conversion. Crush any resistance immediately. Understood. All units moving. Get your things together! We've got to get to the escape pods! Right! Come on, guys! I can see them coming down the corridor! Hurry! Lock the door! Buy us some time! I'm fusing the lock. It'll buy us some time. What are we gonna do when we get here? He's got a point, Jack. Start your four wheels. I'm the first corridor. Find that location. Any human person now. We must find them and bring them to our ship for final conversion. How are we going to get out of here? The service shafts. We can use it to get to the escape pods. Good idea. Three humans located in this room. Open the door. Qu quick, Chris! Get the shaft open! We need a quick escape out of this room! Door will not open. The door has malfunctioned. Force the door open. I've almost got it. Jack, give me a hand. Hurry. Good work, Chris. Sarah, you first. Then you, Chris. I'll close the panel behind us. Humans are escaping. Open this door now. Quick, get in! have escaped for a service shaft. Alert all Cybermen to monitor and secure service shafts. The escaping humans must be located. We 
We've lost all our security personnel, Commander. What about the crew of the station? We, we couldn't get to them, sir. I'm sorry. The door's not gonna hold much longer. Take covering positions, everyone. Fire when I give the order. Surrender yourselves. Your crew has succumbed to the might of the cyber race. It is only a matter of time till all humans are gathered for cyber conversion. Open fire! Stun all humans. They will be needed for cyber conversion. Oh! Esther! Commander, they're killing us. We're going to have to... Ah! Your weapons are ineffective against us. You will surrender for cyber conversion. I will never surrender. You will be... <laughs> like us. <laughs> All resistance has been overcome. The Cyber Leader is activating communications with Human Station. Activate the Human's communication system. It will be done. Report. We are now in control of the Human Station. How many humans are there for conversion? There are 400 humans ready for conversion. 97 humans have been eliminated. There are still humans at liberty on board this station. These humanoids must be captured and cyber-converted. They must not escape. Find and locate them immediately. I must report to the cyber planner of our progress. Understood. Establish communications with the main invasion fleet. We must report our progress. Yes, Leader. Headlines. Phase 2 completed. The station is now under cyber control. You must select all humanoid personnel aboard the station. Phase 3 is in operation. You will convert the engineering bay to become a cyber conversion chamber. The station will be modified with cyber technology. It will be done. Once the station and its human occupants have gone under cyber conversion, we will proceed to the next phase of our plans. It will be done, cyber planner. Proceed with your mission. Report when your mission is completed. It's clear. What the hell were those things? Some kind of robots or something. Whatever they are, they're not friendly and they want to kill us. So what do we do now? We need to find a way off the station. Perhaps we can try and get to the life pods. Are you kidding? Did you see how many there were out there? We were not five corridors away from the nearest ones. <laughs> Great way to lower people's spirits and hopes, Chris. <sighs> Sandy Jack, it's true. My guess. They'll be watching over the hatches and the escape pods for any other survivors. Do you think there would be any other survivors? I'm sorry, Sarah, but I don't think so. There were so many of them, and my guess would be that everyone on the station is dead. Shush! One's coming this way! Look, we'll rest, for a while at least, and we'll try escape with a shuttle or, or something in the docking bay. Okay. I'll try and get some sleep. Do you want me to take first watch, Chris? No, no, it, it's, it's alright, honestly. I won't be able to sleep anyways. You both go ahead. Human male is ready for phase one of the conversion process. 
What the hell is going on? Why am I strapped down like this? What is this place? Inject neural fluid into male humanoid. Phase one completed. Phase two is now in operation. No. 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 Do. I mean, what can we do? The security personnel on this station have been wiped out. The invaders control the station now. I mean, how long can we survive here on this station on our own? Our weapons had no effect on them at all. Can we really get away from this place alive? Joanna. Joanna, my goodness. I was supposed to be leaving here in less than two weeks. I might never get to see her again, let alone marry her. I have to get back to Earth. I have to get back to Joanna. some way of getting a message out. The computer core. Well, here goes. Let's hope the computer system is still functioning. Yeah, 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 I know. I am crew member Chris Andrews, passcode sickness beta 1571, authenticate. Passcode and identification confirmed. Welcome, crew member Chris Andrews. What can I do for you? I need you to connect with a communication relay satellite, Priority 1. Priority 1 is not available for non-military personnel. Alien forces are invading us, and we're dying here. Surely that's a good enough excuse. Negative, Chris Andrews. You are not allowed to use military communications. Then give me any damn channel. Confirmed. Stand by. Working. Computers are picking up a communication signal, attempting to break through our jamming. Isolate it! Do not let it through! Isolate! Isolate! The signal is located from deck 7 of the station. What are your orders? Send a detachment. Gather the humans for conversion. They must be taken for cyber conversion. Yes, leader. Charm that signal. I'm sorry to report, Chris Andrews. 
All signals are being. What's wrong, Frank? I am being monitored by an external influence. I must shut myself off. Wait, wait, wait. Can I at least record messages or anything? Yes. You will not be detected using the personal recorder. Contact me again when it is safe to do so. Warning. Alien forces are approaching this level. Recommendation. Run and hide. Thank you, Frank. Jack? Sarah? Wake up! What is it? They're coming! Get the door shut. I need to do something. Sarah, come and help me! Just keep that door shut as long as you can. Oh my god! They're coming! Stop looking at them and help me get the door shut! They're going to get through! Right. Visual and audio recording software online. Secure file database created. Here goes. My name is Chris Andrews. I'm an engineer on board the Mars Station 13. I hope someone gets this. We're sending this message out with all security footage and evidence. This station has come under attack by Cybermen. Chris, we need to go now! They're getting through the doors! Come on, let's get the hell out of here! Please, you've got to warn them. Tell Joanna Carter I love her. Chris, move yourself! Let's get out of here! Three humans detected. Quick, let's go! The humans must not escape. Chris, you're an engineer here, right? Where do we need to go? Right, um... Lower levels, this way. Sarah! Don't let go! Jack, help me! Hold on, Sarah! The human leg is damaged. No matter, it will be replaced. They've got her, Chris! We've got to go! We've got to go now! Sarah! They've got Sarah! There's nothing we can do now. What the hell happened? How the hell did they find us? You did this! Me? Yeah, you! What the hell did you do? Wait a second, all I did was... I'm going to kill you for this! Jack! I'm just... just trying to call for help! Well, you're calling for help! Let Sarah take him from us! Look, I'm sorry! All right, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I really was trying to help. Whatever. So what do we do now? Hmm? Call for help again. It's pretty much pointless, really, isn't it? They're both dead. Jack, listen. Jack, listen to me. We're both going to get out of this. One way or another. I'm not going to become one of them. And nor you. Do you hear me? Yes. We'll rest here for a while. Just rest and I'll try and think of something. Yeah, whatever. Sometimes, we all have good intentions, and sadly, this time round, I screwed up, and I screwed up big time. I didn't even mean to get a kill. I was just trying to help. Just trying to help get us out of here. The human leg is damaged. I didn't want to become like them. No matter, it will be replaced. But what can I do? We're stuck in a service shaft, and we can't get messages out. 
it's pretty much hopeless. Jack has made a good point, really, hasn't he? No, wait a minute. An emergency message pod. I can upload all the security footage or any messages I want and then shoot it off into outer space. It's the only way to get a message out about what happened here. I have to do it. What about Joanna? Joanna, I miss you. I miss you so much. I can't stop thinking about her. How much I want to just hold you, be close to you, and be away from this hellish nightmare. I don't want to die. I want to get away from here and be with my future wife. I've got to try and get out of here. I have to warn the Alliance about what happened here. I have to try. I've got to try. I've got to wake up now. Jack? Jack, where are you? Where the hell did he go? I can't believe he left me. Okay, what do I do now? If I'm going to survive this, I need a weapon of some kind. I need to upload all the security. Security? Ah, the security office! I can access a computer terminal and get a weapon from there. Maybe I can find Jack along the way. Our detachment force has found a human female. She is undergoing cyber conversion. They report that two human males are still at liberty aboard this station. They must find them at once. We must proceed to the next phase of our plans. They report that they are continuing their search. They must be found. Order them to use cyber mats if they do not find them. If they cannot be found, they will be killed. Yes, leader. I managed to arrive in the security room alive. I was sure I saw something following me in the service shafts. Anyways, I arrived to find the security room is empty. Well, that depends what you call empty. I found dead corpses of those who tried to protect us from the Cybermen. All dead. Nobody alive. Where the hell did they come from? Why are they doing this? I opened and looked into many of the lockers. I opened up one locker and discovered two things I would need. A blaster pistol and some explosive charges. One of these type of charges could blow a quarter off the station. <laughs> Maybe I should blow up the station. They're coming. I've got to hide. Where? Quick, Chris, think! The locker. I shut the door and closed the vent slightly enough, just enough to see out. Seconds must have turned into minutes, because it felt such a long time for the Cybermen just to pass by. Then suddenly, the door opened, revealing the Cybermen in the doorway. There was just one, just one. Even one could probably kill me or break my body into pieces. The Cyberman walked around the room. It must have heard me down the corridor or something. It might even just have come to search the room and move on. It's getting closer. It suddenly stopped, right in front of the locker. It even turned to look at the locker I was in. I was praying and pleading that it won't open the door, that it would just go away. Please, please let it just go away. Please let it just go away. The Cyberman suddenly turned and made its way out of the door.
maybe I'll be able to escape from here after all. I better get moving. I need rest. Hey. Hey, a voice recorder. I need to download all the files and get to a terminal. Engineering. That'll be the best place. The lower levels. And the metal surrounding that area is denser and may help to shield me. The problem is the Cybermen are monitoring the computer system. We'll have to be quick. I have to try. Maybe I shouldn't have left Chris. I mean, he was just trying to help us. I wonder if they have him. Maybe he's one of them now. Perhaps he's dead. I shouldn't have left him on his own. I need to get out of here. Do not move. Track! Or you'll be destroyed. You will surrender. I need a weapon. An iron pipe. You, you killed Sarah! You're going to pay! Your resistance is useless. <laughs> Let go of me! Let go! I'll kill you! I'll kill you all! You will be taken for cyber conversion. I will not! No! I will not! You are now stunned. You will be taken for cyber conversion. Nervously crawling in the tight service shaft, heading towards engineering. I noticed a distant but constant beeping further behind me. I would have ignored the sound if it were not getting louder. I looked behind me and noticed some kind of silver rat or something. I continued on. Moments later, paranoia started to kick in. A metal rat? There was no such thing as metal rats. And they don't make that kind of sound. I turned around. Again, just in time, as it lunged toward me. I turned immediately onto my back, and managed just in time to grab it before it injected me with what looked like two needles. At this point, I hardly had any strength left. The only thing that gave me strength was thinking of Joanna. Not today, pal! I managed to hold the metal rat against the floor, and I smacked it as hard as I could with my gun. Spacewalk out of here to engineering. Sound detected. Investigate. Or Cybermen investigate. Or Cybermat will respond and investigate immediately. Cybermats? Must be those things in the service shaft. Crap. Move it, Chris. Get a spacesuit on. Sealed. Deacon 
compression will commence in 10 seconds. Human escaping from airlock door. Intercept. Intercept. Decompression complete. Outer airlock doors opening. Navigate your backpack online. Time to move. security footage. Everything about this attack and any relevant information. Confirmed. Anything else? Yes. Please, compile all my personal files and messages for the recipient, Joanna Carla. Also, um, include the, the attempted message from earlier, will you? That's the priority message. Confirmed. What? What is it now? Oh god, no. Oh, that was a close one. Frank, where the hell is the airlock for the engineering section? Airlock is located on your navigation display. Frank, emergency override. Get this navigation pack at full throttle at to the airlock door now. Warning. Full speed will result. I know. Possible collision. Just do it! Almost there. Okay, Frank. Reverse thrust to a stop now. Oh, shoot. Ah. I need to get inside. Oxygen leak. My helmet fires is cracking. Okay. Warning. Oxygen supply is running low. Helm advisor is about to be compromised. Frank, close the door, quick! Frank, now will be a good time, a very good time, to repressurize the airlock. Cycle complete. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, give it a rest, will you? Frank, open the inner door. Hurry. station will not allow us to control the Cybermats. The hole is too thick. Then divert all Cyber units to that section immediately. This human must not escape. Yes, leader. We are attempting to open the airlock door to pursue this human. Report when human is captured. At once. Have we gained control of their computer system? We are attempting to break its firewall and security. It is only a matter of time. However, we have gained information of the station's crew's manifest. Show me the last remaining human. 
Chris Andrews. He is an engineer of this station. It is logical to assume that the human may attempt to sabotage this station. The fusion reactor will cause ultimate destruction. Place a guard detail outside the main engineering room. The conversion chamber must not be destroyed. Yes, leader. The human must be stopped at all costs. I cannot think how and why I've survived this all. Those Cybermen have pretty much killed everyone. I haven't seen any sign of Jack either. Maybe he got lucky and got to the escape pods, perhaps. I have managed to escape from Cybermen, Cybermen on multiple occasions, and even just now escaped from being spaced. I'm so tired. I have slept for 25 hours, and no food either. I just want to rest and sleep. Just a break, a break from, from this nightmare. She placed her finger on my lips. I remembered how beautiful she was. She had lush brown hair and crystal blue eyes. We were in Richmond Park in London one day. It was the summer. You could hear the birds singing. The light breeze and the chill you on a hot summer's day. And I remembered how peaceful it was and how beautiful that memory was. Then suddenly, she vanished. Joanna? Joanna, where are you? The dream changed. It felt like I was thrust back into the nightmare that surrounded me. It was engineering. I noticed a power cord, and I remembered that if this station exploded, it'd be enough to wipe out this station as well as their ship. I could hear the faint talks in the background. I felt fear. I felt that I did not want to go to that sound and I found that my feet were going toward that exact sound. I turned the corner and found that Joanna was held in place on a surgical table. She was being replaced by layers of plastic, metal and fluid. Every second it took some more of her humanity away. I wanted to run. I wanted to get her off this surgical table. She looked at me with terror in her eyes and spoke. Chris, wake up! I have to get back to her. 
I'll set the explosives on a timer and allow myself to escape. Hold on, Joanna. I'm coming home, darling. I arrived in engineering, and to my surprise it was empty. No Cybermen at all. I suppressed the thought for a moment, and got the explosives out. I'll set the timer for five hours, and place it out of sight so no one can find it. That'll be enough time to get into an escape pod and get away from this place. Frank! I remembered that I had to get an emergency message pod out of here. I need to get it out if something happens to me. I walked over to the nearest computer terminal. I activated it and spoke to Frank. Frank, are you still there? Good morning, Chris Andrews. Morning? Is it morning already? What can I do for you? Is there any way of launching the emergency message pod if anything happens to me? Yes, I can. Do you want me to program this now and ready it for launch? Yes. Orders are... Orders... Orders are confirmed. Frank. Frank, what's wrong? Computer... Computer system is being invaded. Launch it! Launch it now! Emergency message pod now being launched. Thank you, Frank. I'm so sorry. You are welcome. Good luck. Goodbye. Who's that? Jack? Jack, is that you? Jack! Chris! I felt so sorry for him. Perhaps I could have saved him from this thing. He was almost converted like that. He had a chest unit. His right leg, arms and body had been covered by silver. I felt so powerless to help him. Chris. I can feel that presence in my brain. Chris, I want you to stop it. Please make it stop. I... I don't know what to do. What can I do? I don't know anything about this technology. Then kill me. No. Please, Chris. I will not be a Cyberman. I will not become a walking corpse. Murdering, butchering people to become more Cybermen. Please, Chris. Kill me. No. Kill me. Kill me. Please. I can't. Chris. You're the only one who can do it. You're my friend, and I know you can do it. All right. All right. I'm sorry about her. I'm sorry too. I'm so sorry. Damn it. Thank you. Warning. Warning. Weapons fire has been detected in engineering room. All cyber units will converge on engineering immediately. Door will now be sealed and service shaft entrances will now be locked down. No, 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 no! It wasn't supposed to end like this. You are now detected. Capture immediately. I opened fire from my gun until it was completely depleted. Then the blaster failed to work. The Cyberman gets closer and closer. It lifted one of its arms high and pulled it down hard. It hit me on the side of my neck. I felt that everything was getting dark. I 
felt that I was going to lose consciousness. I'm powerless to do anything. The Cybermen have won. I am now in their power. It's over. woke up to what appears to be the bridge of the station. What the hell happened to it? It's changed, it's so alien. This is the last human? Yes, leader. You will confirm your identity. I am crew member Chris Andrews, engineer of the Alliance Outpost Station Tamar 13. Bring in Cyber Unit 751. Yes, leader. You will tell me of the purpose of the single rocket pod that left this station three hours and thirty minutes ago. It knows. It knows about the message pod. I can't say anything about it. Otherwise, humanity will never know what happened here. And Joanna, too. I have no idea what you're talking about. We intercepted command codes from the engineering deck through the computer systems. You will tell me. As I said before, I have no idea what you're talking about. This is the designated cyber unit that you have requested, leader. Cyberman, what was your designated name before conversion? I was Jack Stevenson. I was a computer technician. Crewman on board Alliance Outpost Station, Temar 13. He was dead. It's a lie. No. Merely damaged. We were able to repair him. Now, tell us about the emergency message pod. I will not. Restrain him. Yes, leader. Help! Oh, my arm! Jack, let me go! The Cyberman will apply more force and pressure to your arm if you do not inform me of the pod's purpose. You can break my bones. I will never tell you. It is no matter to us. You will become like us, and then you will tell us. Stun him. <laughs> I must inform the Cyber Planner of the recent developments. You will take him to the conversion chamber on board our ship. Yes, leader. Open up communication with the Cyber Fleet. We must give our report. Yes, leader. All humans have been subdued. Majority have been converted, and there is only one that is left undergoing cyber conversion. However, an emergency message pod has escaped the station. The humans must not know of our presence. You will go after it. When your ship is ready to depart, then we can proceed to the next phase of our plans. Yes, leader.
Next phase of cyber conversion will begin in one minute. I woke up hours later on board their ship. I noticed that something is weird about myself. My arms and legs were held in place. And when I looked, I could see nothing but silver. My arms and legs were no longer skin or bone. I looked at my chest, and I saw a chest unit grafted onto my body. My worst fear is happening to me. I'm experiencing a fate worse than death. And there's nothing I can do to stop it. I failed. I am so sorry, Joanna. I am so, so sorry. Hold on. The explosives. What time is it? It must be close to the time. Explosion detected on station. Power core is going critical. This is it. Goodbye, Joanna. I love you. Farewell. Till we meet again in the next life. You have been listening to A Fate Worse Than Death, a non-profit fan fiction, written, produced, and directed by James Leeper. Featured in the cast were James Leeper as Chris Andrews, Tana Milovich as Joanna Carla, Matthew Toffolo as Jack Stevenson, Stefiana Littenbon as Sarah Adams, Stephen J. Cohen as Commander William Tyson, N.J. Cogburn as Lieutenant Commander Esther Johnson. Michael Simpkins as Lieutenant Kian Oakman. Gwendolyn Jensen Woodard as Elsie Carmen. Alex Gilmore as Rick Thomas. Joshua Blank as Frank. Bill Holwick as Security Guard 1. David McGuire as Security Guard 2. Colin Snow as Security Guard 3. Stevie K. Farnaby as the Cyber Leader. Joshua Blank as the Cyber Lieutenant. James Leeper as the Cybermen and the Cyber Planner and as the Announcer. This audio production was sound designed by James Leeper. Script editing was done by AJ Clarkson. 
Special thanks to Joshua Blank, who composed and created the soundtrack and provided additional sound effects for this audio drama. And special thanks to all those who made this project possible. This is a work of fan fiction and is a non-profit project for entertainment purposes only. The Cybermen belong to Kip Hedler and Jerry Davis. Please support the BBC by buying their merchandise. All characters appearing in this work are fictitious. Any resemblance to real persons, living or dead, is purely coincidental. Thank you for listening. <laughs>